Hey guys, Pelon here. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a simple but effective squash and stretch rig using just one bone. Alright, to start the tutorial, we'll need a model. In this case, I'm gonna be using this character I did. It's a sloth. Um, so let's do this. We can use a different kind of geometry. We're going to use an example of text later on, but let's focus right now in this character at the time. But if you see here and also in the outliner, we have a lot of different stuff going on. So to make things easier for us, let's just parent everything to the face. How do we do that? Okay, so first let's select the face here. And then with shift drag, we're going to be selecting all the rest of the components and if you see here and also in the uh, in the viewport as well uh, we can we have some visual feedback about it so everything that is like dark yellow like dark orange sorry uh, it's going to be parented to this highlighted orange thing so if we hit ctrl p set parent to and we select object keep transform we're going to parent everything all the objects here to the face so how do we know everything is parented Easy, since we're parented everything here to the face, if we just move the face, everything should be moving or it should move alongside with the face, which is the thing we're moving at the time. Also, if you hit Alt-Z, you're gonna be seeing these dashed lines pointing to the origin of this object, which is the head. So let's create a bone, Shift-A, armature, and let's go to the right side, Alt-Z to see the bone. Then we can come here and write about 406. 407 is really nice. Let's go back, Alt-Z again. But we can see the bone on the screen. We can see just the tip, like the sphere we have um, on the tip of the bone. So let's go to Object Properties, Viewport Display, and hit In Front. So we can always see the bone here. So what we need to do here, and also, uh, if you go to object data properties, you can display it as octahedral, stick, b-bone, so whichever you like is up to you. I'll go with stick. Um, so what we need to do here is to parent or in the rigging world, as we call it, uh, binding the skin, which is basically telling the geometry uh, to stick to the bone, basically. <laughs> so let's do that. Let's select here just the face because everything is parented to the face. Let's select this, then the bone with shift. And if we hit Ctrl P, we're gonna have another section, uh, which is armature deform. Uh, we'll we'll go with automatic weights. That's basically it. So we know it works by just grabbing and moving the bone. If everything moves with the bone, we got this. But the only thing is that if we scale, uh, it scales. The whole thing so we don't want that at the moment we want to be a squash and stretchy feeling so the way we do that is just uh with the bone selected we go here to the constraints tab add object constraint and maintain volume we'll hit here in the z-axis because that's the place we're going to be scaling it at so if we just hit s and start scaling the object up and down we can see the actual squash and stretch movement happening here uh, we'll disable this for a bit so you can see the difference between just having the regular uh, skin binding method and with this um, object constraint which has all that fleshiness squishiness and all <laughs> all you want to describe it as um, in this case for the model so this gives a lot of character and a lot of uh, volume to the piece um, by adding those details um, rather than having just like this or, or even this so yeah that's basically it and let's go check the text example okay so here we are in the text example um, I have a mesh which is the C letter um, if you take a closer look, look here we have the exact same thing as the previous example we have one bone one constraint and that's basically it let's test it here and yeah it works so if you are looking for a an easy uh, way to animate or if you're not um, 
that advanced on Regan. This can save a lot of work if you want to give that uh, bounciness or stretchiness to a model. Could be a logo, even this letter, which I'm showing you right here. So yeah, if you want to see it in execution, I'm gonna leave a card to the previous project I did on the owl animation so you can check it out. Um, and yeah, that'll be it. Hope you guys liked it and let me know in the comments uh, how it goes or show me any projects you do with this and see you next time. Thank you.